What's going on? This is Eugene of the Beat Kings crew. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get set up with BTV as an AU plugin and live. First thing you want to do is go find your plugin list. And you want to go into your AU folder. And you will see Beat Thing. AU component and you can either drag it to a MIDI track or double click on it. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on BTV and as you can see this brings up BTV to AU plugin. Once we have BTV in a MIDI track in live we can set up eight multiple MIDI tracks in live that will correspond with the eight MIDI tracks inside BTV, making it multi timbral First thing you want to do is right click on the empty section of the mixer in live and select insert MIDI track. Now you want to go down to MIDI 2 and select BTV and in track in you want to select track 1. Now it's going to bring back up BTV, select new, and on track one, I'm going to select the kit. Now I'm just going to get out of it. Now when we arm the first MIDI track, we can now trigger it with our MIDI keyboard. <laughs> allowing us to trigger samples from the first track. Now I'm going to show you some basic functionality by using BTV in live. As you can see I made two more MIDI tracks and I have MIDI 2 set to BTV as well as the tracks assigned two tracks two and three inside BTV. What are we gonna do? We're gonna make a quick loop. So we'll switch to a range view. And I'm gonna set my MIDI to trigger from track one on BTV. Now I'm going to set my controller to trigger from track 2 on BTV. Now I'm going to set my controller to trigger from track 3 on BTV. Go back to track two and catch the first note I missed. Let's go ahead and turn the click off. Now we're going to switch back to mix review. Now you can see we have a loop playing on all MIDI tracks 
if I was wanting to mute one of those tracks, I would select inside the box with the numbers four, five, or six, and that will turn a track off, not allowing a sound to play. Go ahead and turn that back on. If we wanted to solo a track, we would just select the S button. Now we can look at some of the features of live. If we go to the MIDI track with BTV on it, we can see at the bottom we can bring down a perimeter view of the track level, pan, and frequency of BTV. So if we select play, we can control the volume of track one. and the pan. This is a great feature. This will allow you to work without opening up the actual plugin.